In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. My dear brothers and sisters in the Lord, in today's Gospel, our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, attending to his disciples, to the crowd, and also to the Pharisee, is kind of pointing on our poor attitude towards our salvation. And why I'm saying that is he's showing two categories of people. As we heard that the king prepared the marriage of his son. And of course, first he invited all the high ranked in his kingdom, right? But what happened? They started ma making excuses. One said that he has to go to see his land. Another said that he has to see his business. While the rest seized the servants and killed them. So, you see, we have those that are only focused on this earthly life. Everything it's about being, making money. No matter what, no matter how, I gotta make money, right? And you have the others that they are just to make trouble, to do something, to make a big deal about something. And you have the others that are completely ignorant. They don't care about anything. They just live somehow. So, but going back to the beginning, if you receive an invitation, so they request some sort of preparation, right? You have to get ready, you have to prepare a gift or gift card, whatever it is, right? You have to look good because you're not going to, to go to the wedding with the same clothing you're, you're going to, your, your job in construction, whatever it is, right? So you have to be, uh, to appear in a prepared attire for that occasion. <clears throat> because as we saw, the one that he found unprepared, he ordered them to cast him out. And unprepared, first of all, he had no good works. And he wasn't, he did not do confession. So he was pretty, pretty much naked of good works and he was just dirty with his living. And definitely that's not acceptable for life eternal. So, and now, again, you see, as I said that there, he's pointing on two different kind of people. Those that are accepting the invitation because this is what it is. When you receive the invitation, either you accept it, you prepare, you get ready for it, right, and you go, or you just ignore and find excuses, you know. Well, I have other things to do, have other priorities, and so on and so forth, right? Or you just go because, well, if I'm, I, I'm not going, then he's not coming to my son's wedding. Or, so, again, you're not going because you respect him or you want to, but you're going out of uh, uh, convenience for yourself because he's going to, like, like a border ex exchange. You come to me, I come to you. And done deal, you know. But again, there is no love, there is no affection, there is no re real uh, connection. So, and there, there is other the other group that they 
accept and they go there with love and they are enjoying the environment. So you see, we have to first of all to accept. But there are there are few several things that are dividing us. And those things first first of all, as we know, is the, 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 the biggest problem for us today, we are enslaved to our jobs. We are enslaved to our daily living. Because, as I mentioned, that we are trying to do everything possible and impossible, impossible to raise money, right? So, and we are spending a lot of time, a lot of effort to get job the second job even the third job on the side to do something to raise more money and uh, to provide more for our family for our kids but we are forgetting that you know by doing that we are pretty much ignoring our kids we are giving them only the material things and we are not giving them affection and love so the parents are working day and night, they're not there. In the best case scenario, they're um, being raised by their grandparents. The worst is paying strangers because they want to raise more money. So, and they aren't there for their kids, right? So you see, the bond is lost right away from there, from their childhood. And when they are growing up, uh, they are complaining, oh, because we don't have a good relationship with our kids. Because when they were little and they wanted to have that relationship, we were busy with working. And we missed the opportunity to be with them, to build up that relationship with them. So now, you see, when we're getting there, we are start, starting complaining and we, we are unhappy. But we are paying pretty much the price of our wrong decisions of our poor decisions it's nobody's fault but ours so and you see we are becoming enslaved with all this and we're losing the good stuff so and as we are learn to do everything to raise money when while accepting the invitation of Christ we know that there is devotion there is sacrifice Right? There is pain, there is cross, there is so many uh, things. So, and we are not ready with that, and we are not getting anything financially, right? Because if you go to church, if you're being, being nice and kind and helping others, you're not getting anything financially. So, and because we want to raise money, that's not benefiting us physically that's why we are not responding to God's calling to come to his wedding to come to his supper to be united through his love to through his sacrifice because we 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 are looking just to benefit but we are we do not understand that we are benefiting spiritually and see, we are completely ignoring that because we want just to feel the money, to see the numbers in our accounts, or to see the gold, jewelries, whatever, in our home, wherever we hide them. So, and we are completely done with the spiritual part. We are not doing anything towards that. And that's a huge problem my dear ones that's a huge deficit that that's a huge uh, gap between us and God because we are all into this materialistic life and ignoring the other one. So now understanding these two, two things and the division between the two groups that all are, are, are called 
as he said, there are many called, but there are just few will be saved because of us, because we are not taking it seriously. We are not responding properly to his high calling. We are not following him. And that, that's the reason, not that God does not want, because he said he doesn't want the dead of the sinner, but to live, right, to come back and live. But again, he is not forcing us because we are logical beings. And being logical, we have free will. He cannot force us. He said, whoever wants to follow me, let him follow me. But if you want to follow me, take upon your shoulders the cross. So that means that we are going to suffer. We are going to, to go through a narrow path, which is difficult, is painful. With, comes with a lot of struggle. And it's easier just to go with the large highway, because then you can speed, right? Unlimited. So, and we do not care. The narrow one, it's difficult. And it's, you know, there is, are a lot of curves and it's difficult to, to, to get to your destination. This is our thing. This is how, how we, we are thinking. But if you think that the highway at some point can be a blockage, can happen something, and you stay there for hours. But then the narrow one with curves, even it takes maybe longer, but you're still going to get to your destination safe. So this is the importance of Orthodox Christianity, because even though it's difficult, but still leads you to your destination. And this is our ultimate goal, to get to our destination, to get united, to answer to his invitation. Because as, as he said, he wants everyone, he invited everyone, but they were unworthy. They didn't pay attention. They were focused on their belongings or their properties. They, they didn't care about the, his wedding or his son's wedding. But we are baptized in the name of the Holy Trinity. We are taking through the confession, we are purifying the soul. We are preparing that garment to be ready for the wedding. And each one on, and everyone shall take that step to prepare, to get ready, to go through this purification, the cleansing part, to get ready for the wedding, and after to come to the wedding to partake the holy mysteries, the holy body and blood of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, which literally burns all the passions that are in, in, in our heart. So if we are not taking that and just coming as the one that were there, we know what is going to happen. He'll just order to his servants to throw us in the other darkness. But we do not want that thing to happen to us. Then we have to be always aware, to be careful, to pay attention to his words and to do our part and to always and continuously walk towards our salvation, continuously to seek the light, continuously to live in the light forever. Amen. God bless you all.